All right, welcome everybody. My name is Bethany Jones. I'm an independent consultant and a regional vice president with Arvon International. And I just wanted to say, welcome tonight. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your evening, whether you're in your pajamas or not, we don't know. But we're glad you're here. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview tonight about what Arvon is, what this means to me, and what this could possibly mean for you as well. So. I don't know if you were begged or bribed to get on tonight, but I openly beg and bribe my friends and my, <laughs> my people to get on. So it's all good. You will thank yourself that you got on. And I just invite you guys to listen with an open heart and open mind. You know, you never know if this is going to be an opportunity for you or not, but it really is a credit to you to do your due diligence to really do your research, get your questions asked. So this is part of that process. So thank you for being on tonight. I'm excited to share with you. And before I dive into all of the goodness of what Arbon is, I'm just gonna share my story really quickly with you. So I was actually introduced to Arbon 11 and a half years ago. My oldest had just been born. Um, I have two girls. I'm a mom of two girls. I've been married for almost 13 years. So my oldest had just been born and uh, a friend gave me the baby products, and I had never heard of Arbonne. I really didn't know what it was, uh, but that definitely piqued my curiosity. And then shortly after that, I got a sample of their anti-aging skincare. And in full disclosure, I had never used skincare in my life. <laughs> and I told the girl that. I said, you know what? I don't use skincare, but I'll try it. You know, free sample, I'll try it. And so I did. And within three days, obviously, I felt a tremendous difference. My skin felt amazing. Um, my husband, my sister, my mother-in-law all asked what I had been doing differently. And I thought, oh my, did I look that bad? But the reality was, is I knew I wanted these products, but I'm a bargain shopper at heart. So I wanted the best deal that was out there. So I went back and I said, okay, I want this, but what is the best deal you can get for me? And so at that point, um, almost 12 years ago, you could really only shop two ways. Um, you could shop at retail price as a client or you could shop as a consultant. And so I signed up as a consultant and I consulted for my family for eight years. And I did share Arbonne with some friends and things like that, but nothing consistent or anything like that. It was, it was just here and there because I loved what it did for, for our family. But I shopped every single month for my family. We loved Arbonne and a lot of things resolved for us. You know, I had had eczema my whole life, that went away, um, and I had tried everything. You know, every prescription, every steroid cream, every everything. Um, my husband had some digestion issues, that was resolved. You know, a lot of that kind of stuff happened for us. So we shopped faithfully every single month. And so if you come to my house today, if Arbonne makes it, we have it. So everything in my house is Arbonne. <laughs> but it took me a while to really wrap my mind around the business side. And so, like I said, for eight years, I really just consulted for my family. Uh, I talked about it a little bit. I made a hobby paycheck, you know, 30 bucks one month, 100 bucks the next month, but really nothing more than 100, 150 dollars. And so um, I watched a lot of people pick up this business and do really well. And so finally, <laughs> I woke up and I said, okay, what is going on here? I mean, these are average Joe, average Jane. You know, surely if they can do that, they can do become successful in this. Surely I can too. And so um, the turning point really happened when my husband and I sat down and had a heart to heart. And you have to understand at that time, I actually didn't need to work. So I was the most unlikely candidate. Number one, I didn't like skincare. I had never used skincare when I was introduced to Arbonne. Number two, I, we really didn't need extra money. All of our bills were paid. I wasn't looking for extra income. Um, I was already a stay at home mom. So I had plenty of time to spend with my family, maybe too much. Um, and you know, those, those are kind of the typical things that people look at sometimes when they're looking at this business and that wasn't me. But what did change for me was my husband sat down and told me, you know, heart to heart. He was like, you know, I'm very grateful for all the work that I've had and I have, but honestly, every time I sit down in front of my computer, I feel like my soul dies a little bit. And I knew at that point in our life that, um, you know, if you don't make a shift 
nothing in your life changes. You know, the last five years will look pretty much like the next five years, unless you make a change. And so I told him, I said, you know, I really feel like I should do Arbonne, but I'm really scared because I don't want to be the scary Arbonne lady. Um, and so he said, you know, I don't think you have to worry about that. Your friends know who you are. And so just be yourself. And so I ran with this business and you guys, I just am sharing that with you because in 23 months time, and in that time we moved across the country to a city where I had no contacts whatsoever. But in 23 months, I went from a $200 paycheck to over $7,000 for the month. And so as you might imagine, that totally shifted things for our family and gave us choices and opportunities that we hadn't had before. So I am eternally grateful that I said yes. Um, I am so grateful for that opportunity because it has really lended to our family. It's funny because I was having a talk with my sister last week and I love her, but you know, she was expressing, you know, I don't, I don't need more money. Money doesn't make me happy. And I said, you know what? Money and stuff does not fulfill me. But what does bring me joy is what I get to do with extra money. I mean, I know how many things that I would love to do five years ago that we'd, we didn't have the opportunity because, you know, all of our bills were paid, but we didn't have extra to go take our family on summer mission trips or support an orphanage or, you know, a whole group of Arbon people just spent a week and raised enough money to build 90 homes for people in Haiti that have been living in tents for five years. That motivates me. So I don't know what motivates you, but that's a big motivator for me. And so I share that with you because I realize that not everybody is looking for, um, you know, another job or another stream of income, but you guys, extra money means you can do extra stuff. And a lot of it can be amazing, giving and awesome things that you may have the desire to do, but you don't have the opportunity to do or the, or the means to do it. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's my story. But I want to get into, you know, what is Arbonne and just kind of give you an overview of what this business looks like and what this company is so that you have a good understanding of what that is and hopefully answer your questions there. So, so what is Arbonne? Okay. We are a, beauty, a botanically based beauty, health, and wellness company. We've been around for 36 years. This is our 36th anniversary. We have cutting edge research and development, a passionate cult culture of independent consultants. Arbonne people are just fun to be around. Uh, we have a global opportunity right now. We're in the United States. We're in Canada. We're in Australia, the UK, Poland. We opened last year. Um, and then we just opened New Zealand last month. And then we're opening Taiwan um, very shortly. So a global opportunity, a global business opportunity, generous compensation plan we'll talk about in a minute, a willable business, and an incredible home office and distribution center. So I just want to make the point here for a second. You know, I have a lot of friends that do network marketing. I mean, I feel like it's popping up everywhere, which is great. I mean, I, I think network marketing companies put out the best products on the market. That's just my personal opinion. Um, and there's several that I shop with, um, non-competing things like cleaning products and stuff like that. And I love, I love network marketing. Uh, but I will say a lot of them, um, have to stock a closet full of products and run around and deliver that product. And with Arbon, our home office and our distribution centers take care of that for us. We just get to educate and show people how to shop at the best cost. And then Arbon ships it right to their doorstep. So I don't have to spend my time running around, um, you know, for a lipstick or a protein shake or something like that. So I think that's awesome. So what makes Arbon unique? All right, there's a lot of companies out there, lots. So what sets us apart? So number one on the docket there is plant-based. You guys, we take the best of science and nature and we mix it together and we are plant-based. We start with plants and go from there. We're hypoallergenic, we're pH correct, we're vegan certified. You know, I, I've lived in a lot of places and one of them was Oklahoma. And you guys, nobody in Oklahoma really cared about vegan, but <laughs> when I moved to Asheville, North Carolina, everybody cared. Um, and so just to kind of give you a quick understanding, you know, your skin is your largest organ. You're absorbing everything you put on the outside of your body in less than a minute. So if your personal care products and your cosmetics and things like that are not labeled vegan, 
Uh, that means that you're probably absorbing some kind of animal pro byproduct or product. And so usually not the best thing for you because it doesn't come from clean facilities. So just putting that out there. So vegan certification is a big deal. Uh, we also screen for GMOs. We're dermatologist tested. We have a Swiss heritage with European standards. I had no idea what that meant when I got into Arbonne, but in Europe, they banned over 1,100 toxic chemical ingredients from their products. In America, we've banned about 10 on that list. So if that doesn't alarm you, it should. <laughs> uh, we also formulate with no gluten, no petrolatum, no mineral oil, no chemical dyes, no fragrances, no artificial sweeteners, flavors, colors, no parabens, no phthalates. Most recently, our sports nutrition line was also certified by the BAM Substance Control Group. You guys, that's huge. That means professional athletes can use our products to get amazing results and test clean. So we really go the extra mile to make sure that everything we put out is clean and green and safe. In fact, even our shipping has like a zero carbon stamp in the environment. So Arvon really goes to work to make sure that everything is clean, green, and safe for our families. Our motto is actually pure, safe, and beneficial. So every ingredient, every product has to be pure safe and beneficial. It actually has to work. The best part is it actually produces results. So I've been using Arbon for um, almost 12 years. I'm 70. Works amazing. I'm just kidding. I'm not. But <laughs> I did turn 40 this year and I feel fabulous. I'm, you know, 40 and fabulous. Arbon keeps me feeling 40 and fabulous. So I'll put that out there because, um, yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome to feel great and look great feel good in your own skin and Arbonne really helps you do that. So, so as far as the products, what do we offer? You know, pretty much everything from basket to casket, our old president used to say that basket to casket, you know, baby care, hair care, cosmetics, body care, nutrition, detox products, aromatherapy, sports nutrition. We have the full gamut. So pretty much anything that you use on a regular basis, we probably have it. Toothpaste, deodorant, you know, all of these things we have, um, especially in the summer, sunscreen, stuff like that. Um, my kids love drinking our, um, our sports nutrition. The middle one is called hydration, and you drink it during to replace electrolytes. But you guys, during the summer, it's so hot. We're all sweaty <laughs> um, and losing all that fluid. And so if I put a little, little bit of that into their drinks, they chug it right down. So everything from basket to casket not just a one product company, well over 400 plus consumable products for the entire family. And the best part is they're available at a discount with a 45 day guarantee. So Arvon really believes in standing behind their products. So if you get something and it's the wrong color or the wrong smell or I don't know, whatever, anything whatsoever, no questions asked, 45 day guarantee, we stand behind our product. So, so I'm gonna switch gears for just a minute and talk to you about network marketing. What is network marketing? So I actually have a business degree and sadly I didn't learn anything about network marketing in my business classes. So when I first heard that, I had all these preconceived ideas of network marketing of it's a pyramid scheme and nobody ever really makes any money at that and it's a get rich quick and it's a scam. Uh, these are the things that I heard, I, I didn't know. So I personally did my due diligence and went to work to educate myself on the field of network marketing, the industry of network marketing. Outside of Arbonne, I just wanted to know what, what is this? And so in a very quick nutshell, you know, it's just a different method of distribution. That's it. You know, if you think about traditional retail, if you're buying something off the shelf at, you know, the drugstore or Target or um, behind the counter at the mall or something like that, traditional retail, it goes through the manufacturer, the wholesaler, the warehouser, the advertiser, the retailer, and then it gets to the consumer. You know, who pays for all of that? We do. <laughs> when we buy that product off the shelf, you know it didn't cost that much to make it. We have to pay for all of that, okay? Network marketing just cuts out that middleman and we go directly from the manufacturer to the consumer, which oftentimes is the consultant or the preferred client directly there. So all that extra money, where does that go? Okay, since we use word of mouth advertising, you know, we're not paying 
I don't know, Beyonce or whoever, lots of money to advertise our products. Since we are the advertisers, we get a thank you check. So every time we tell somebody about Arbonne, we get a thank you check for that. The other place the money goes, two places. The second place it goes is to develop a superior product. And honestly, you guys, we put out Swiss grade European products at a very competitive price here in the United States. I can tell you that even in Europe, the Swiss are number one for skincare. So you cannot buy Swiss skincare anywhere else. I mean, at a competitive price, like we offer it. So I love that. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. But there's four key factors for success in a business that Dr. Charles King talks about. He's a Harvard business professor. And he talks about four key factors for success in a business. And I think this is important. You know, if you're exploring the idea of Arbonne, you should think about these or, or another company or wherever you're looking, if you're comparing, these are things to really think about and consider. Number one is consumable products. Arbonne has that. Everything we have gets used and you know, in one to four months, you're gonna replace it. Number two is market demand. So you know, Arbonne's been around for 36 years, but now, I'll tell you, even in the last two or three years, I've seen, I've seen things really start to move faster and faster because market demand right now is exactly what we have. People want clean and safe. They want clean and safe for their family, and we have that. Number three is timing and trends. So if you look around, in fact, I just read an article not too long ago about the department store Kohl's, which, you know, it's a great department store, but they're closing down stores because people are just not shopping brick and mortar like they used to. People are shopping online. They want the ease of clicking a button and it coming right to their doorstep. And we are right on trend with that. If you have an iPhone, um, you know, a smartphone, an iPad, a computer, you could do this business anywhere. And then number four, ability to time leverage. So I've been working the same 15 to 20 hours a week, you know, three years ago when I made a $200 paycheck to three years later when my paycheck is inching around $10,000 a month, I work the same 15 to 20 hours a week. So I'm just telling you, we have, Arbonne satisfies all four of those. So that's really something that you should consider looking at. So moving on, I want to talk about um, compensation. So we talked about great products, great people, a great business plan. How much money can you really make, right? Show me the money. So compensation. Basically, you get paid in Arbon to teach people how to, how to redirect money that they're already spending to something clean and safe at a discount to the doorstep, and you get the thank you check. We earn money through commissions, overrides, a Mercedes cash, um, Mercedes Benz cash bonus when you re reach vice president level, um, cash bonuses every single month as managers and building consultants, vacations. We're about to go on our third vacation, paid for by Arbonne as a family. Very grateful. My kids love that I do Arbonne now. <laughs> um, beautiful jewelry, all kinds of things like that. So there's four levels of management in Arbonne. We like to say we have a darn good compensation plan, which is simply an acronym for four levels of management. But D is for district manager. Average district managers make anywhere between $200 to $1,000 a month. My average district managers on my team that are working make around $1,000 a month. So that's great for a part-time job, right? Um, area managers, the step above that, anywhere between one to $4,000 a month. And at that point, your business also becomes willable. So God forbid you don't make it home one night, wherever you decide, you know, as long as your friend, your clients are still shopping, that thank you check can go to your family, to your favorite charity, wherever you decide to will that. That's amazing. I have worked a lot of places and nobody has offered that to me yet. So I think it's awesome. Okay, R is for regional vice president. Um, that's where I'm at right now. And an average regional vice president makes anywhere between five to $10,000 a month. On top of that, we also get an $800 cash bonus every single month to pay for our white Mercedes. So you can have anyone you want, it just has to be white. And then the top level is national vice president, which I'm on track to hit by the year's end. You guys, an average national vice president, it takes about five years to reach that position. And 
um, five years of consistent working, I'll say that, not full-time, part-time consistent, but about five years to reach the top level and an average national vice president paycheck is 21,500 a month. That's incredible. I mean, I have a business degree. I have never had that kind of income earning potential in five years. So just want to encourage you to really consider this. This is a valid income earning opportunity. It's really, really, truly, it works. So, so I want to wrap up tonight and just kind of take you on a journey. You know, we've talked about Arbonne as a company, what it is we do for people. We've discussed what's in it for you potentially. But the real question that's probably going through your mind tonight is, you know, why me? Why should I get involved in this? You know, what is in this for me? So in order to explain that to you, I kind of want to take you on a, on a trip back to high school. All right? So back to high school. How many of you remember high school? Or maybe would rather not remember high school? <laughs> or didn't go to high school? So we've got everybody covered, right? Okay. So I remember when I graduated high school, it was a very momentous occasion. Amazing. I remember it. We were all sitting up on the football field. Um, up in Michigan, blue sky, clear blue sky, beautiful day, sun shining, and we're all sitting there. You know, we're getting our diplomas. You're tossing your caps up into the air with such anticipation sitting there. You're sitting there just thinking, you know, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to make an impact. I'm going to make money. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to make a change in this world. Like, you're sitting there with all that anticipation, right? I mean, there's a lot that goes into that. I remember sitting there with all 128 kids that I graduated with up in rural Michigan. But you know, you get into your 20s and you're going to school, you're getting jobs, you're probably getting married, you're buying the house, you're getting the dog, you're getting the cat, starting to pay bills, racking up some debt, maybe having kids, kind of trying to keep your head above water, getting caught up kind of in the hustle and the bustle of everyday life. And all of those hopes and dreams and aspirations that we had sitting there on that graduation day slowly get pushed deeper and deeper inside of us, right? And so then you hit your 30s. <laughs> and it kind of looks like you're waking up to an alarm clock, you're packing lunches for the kids, you're working all day at the office, you're coming home, you're giving baths to the kids, you're getting dinner, you're putting them to bed, and you're doing this over and over and over and over and over again. And it kind of feels like you're this hamster on a wheel. And, you know, you're not, there's no more dreams, no more hopes. I mean, who has time for hopes and dreams anymore? And we're just too, try, too busy trying to manage our life. It's kind of like survival. No one's really living you're, we're just surviving, right? I mean, I know that I've, I've felt that before. It's not a great feeling. <laughs> um, but the reality is it's, it's really sad because we see so many people die by the time we're 35 years old, but we don't get buried till we're, you know, 80, 90. But what really dies is our hopes, our dreams, our aspirations die. We just kind of give up. And we kind of, we start to tell ourselves, you know, this is the way it's going to be for me. It's too late. I'm too old give ourselves these stories, but you guys, those are not true. They're lies, all lies. Really, truly, if you choose to step into this, Arbonne could potentially be the vehicle that could change your life. It could potentially be the vehicle that could reignite all of your hopes, your dreams, the aspirations that you, you thought were dead. I mean, Arbonne can really be whatever you want it to be, but it can't be anything unless you make a decision you know, that you want it to be something for you and for your family. So, you know, some of you are sitting here thinking, I don't, I don't have the energy, I don't have the time. But you know, some of you are sitting here and you know deep down inside of you, you're feeling that tug in your heart that you were created for more. And so this could be your, your chance, your opportunity. So there's always three kinds of people that, three kinds of people that are sitting here listening. And so I would just want you to kind of listen through and figure out which one could be you. Number one is you know in your heart of hearts that I'm speaking to you. And if that is you and you want to walk into this, talk to the person that invited you on tonight because they will take you by the hand and show you the way. They'll show you how to do this. The second kind of person that's, in, that's here tonight is one that's saying, you know, I still have some questions. 
I don't know. It sounds really great, but I just, I have some more questions and I just want to say great, you know, do your due diligence. You deserve to have your questions answered. So again, talk to the person who invited you, get your questions answered, make an informed decision. You owe that to yourself. And then the last type of person that's usually here is, you know, this was great, great information, but this isn't really for me. You know, I'm, I don't think this is for me. Again, talk to the person that invited you because you need to tell them thank you. <laughs> you know, don't take this information lightly. At the very least, change the products in your home to things that are clean and safe so that you can feel safe about what you're using on your family. And we can show you how to do that at a discount. So I want to wrap up tonight and just read you guys a quote. You know, I, I feel really passionate. I, it probably is, it, it's coming out, but, <laughs> but I feel really passionately about Arbon and what it can do for people. And I know what it's done for me and I know what it continues to do for me, but I realize that's not for everybody and that's okay. But if you're feeling that tug in your heart, I just, I beg you not to let the fears and the naysayers and the dreams that people that aren't living a life that you want to live, I, I'm just asking you right now, don't take advice from people that aren't living a life you want, right? You know, they usually have a lot to say, but aren't necessarily living a life that you want. So take advice from what you know in your heart to be truth and make that kind of a decision. So I want to read this quote as we wrap up tonight. I love it. It makes me feel makes me feel good. I sometimes get a little choked up, but okay. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God, and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. And it's not just in some of us, it's in every one. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So I want to wrap up with that tonight. You know, you were created for greatness. I don't believe it's just for some. I believe it's in all of us. And so if this is tugging at your heartstrings, I just invite you, talk to the person that invited you. They can walk this journey with you. They want to walk this journey with you. You get to be an Arvon business, you know, for yourself, but not by yourself. It's an amazing company. It's an amazing opportunity. So thank you so much for letting me share with you guys tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and stay cool during the summer. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.